Hey, how's it going? This is DJ Steve Nice. You're watching WinkSound.com. Today I'm going to show you how to import audio into Ableton Live in order to utilize the kicks and snares of the loop to make an actual beat that tailors to the type of music that you're making. I'm going to pull in some audio for you. These are my, uh, my loops. You can click on them and you can hear them. Basically, it's drag and drop. Very simple. Any piece of audio you could drag and drop into Ableton. You just got to make sure that you're dropping it on an audio file. We're going to start talking about your views down here. And this is your audio. You could uh, you could zoom in on it down here if you want. And sometimes like, see, I have this up at 130 beats per minute. OK, it might not be on it. It might like slow it down because it warps it. And these are your warp lines right here. So sometimes you got to match it up. All right. To make it actually sound good when you play it. And what I like to do just to get everything started is just stretch it out and play it and you know kind of look at it but in order to stretch it out you got to have it on loop you could turn it on loop you could turn it off loop you could turn it on warp and you could turn warp off just by double clicking again ableton is very user friendly once you have it on loop okay you just stretch it right out you can get busy and play it once you got it stretched out all right stretch Woo! it's fun right okay now, you could either leave it like that, if that's the type of music you want to make. You find a house beat if you want to make house. Find a breakbeat loop. There's thousands, millions of loops out there. And if you can't find them, throw a record on your turntable, import audio from a CD. I mean, really, the sky is the limit when it comes to making digital music. You don't have to use external equipment anymore, which is cool for the people who can't afford all that crap, you know? I can't afford a $10,000 studio, but I'll tell you what, I can make a track just as good as anybody else. As if they made it in that studio and that's the good thing about this day and age things are changing the playing fields are leveled you know a regular average joe can be just as good as someone like bad boy bill or whoever tiesto whoever the hell you guys listen to all right and if you don't want it like this if you want to get inventive find your, your one two three four okay put your loop on and this is right here this thing that's your uh, grid to where it's gonna play. So if you go over here and you press loop, all right, it's only gonna be play what's in between these two lines, all right? So let's count two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We got a nice four count right there, okay? Now, if you wanna change this up, all right, what I like to do, this is your kick, right? That's like a kick and half a snare, all right? Bring this out here. And once it's highlighted, you gotta left click. And, and drag it and it'll copy it. So we got like a little bit of a house beat going. See how I change that up? It's no longer like, like this, right? So we're gonna add two more, which is a good thing about this. You just right click, duplicate. All right, and then you find some other cool sounds. What do you got in here? You got a, hear that sound, that drum, that's like a, like a nice snare, nice kick snare almost. Uh, what we should do with this is actually shoot, you know, make a whole new audio track. Cause that way, you know, you have, the more tracks you make, the more diverse ability you have with it because you could put a different effects on different things. Cause this kick, see how that kicks louder? You could go in and compress it and make it lower. Or you could just go here and make that lower. You could put it under that. Well, that's how you make a basic beat in Ableton. Well, I hope these videos really helped you in your future endeavors in making electronic music. And whatever it is that you're making, just make sure it's tailored to your own personality. Thanks for watching. Um, some of my affiliates are Groove Therapy, Rustic Productions, Warehouse Massive. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, Binghamton Upstate. If you want to contact me, my email is stevenice at winksound.com.